Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are still in the bed, still at my mom's. Anyway, today's video is going to be why you suck at manifesting and why you have not manifested all of your desires. This is gonna be a quick video, but before I get started, if you have not already, definitely subscribe and give it a like. And if you would like to learn how to manifest using a workbook, I have mine down below. It is $11.11 .11 .11 and it is a magical workbook because I intend that everybody who purchases it is able to to manifest all their desires. Why you don't have your desire. And I should also say, I don't think I've ever said this, but my YouTube channel is very much just me documenting my journey and me giving advice based off my journey. So my advice a year ago is probably gonna be different from my advice now. So if you are watching all my videos, just know that. But anyways, so the main thing and what I have noticed in myself, the only reason why I don't get my desires, especially like if I'm doing a time crunch or anything like that the main reason I do not get my desires and the only reason I do not get my desire is because of wavering yes ladies and gentlemen it is that simple I talked about this in what last video when did I talk about this hold on I'm going I'm going on my channel because I don't remember I have posted every day for like the past four days so I don't actually know when I posted it when did I mention this was it in the shifting realities I don't, I don't remember the video damn I never thought I'd be this person that I have so much content that I don't remember the videos that I was talking about shit there was a video if someone knows what it is leave a comment down below I think it's the if you've seen this you shifted realities but I talked about how you can't be in two states at the same time so you can't have your desire and not have your desire at the same time it's one or the other and so the only reason why you don't have your desire is because you've now wavered in not having your desire so basically just stating the opposite so like if your affirmation is I have a thousand dollars if your affirmation is I have a thousand dollars I have a thousand dollars and you're repeating it over and over and over again but then all of a sudden you look at your bank account and you're like I don't have a thousand dollars you've instantly shifted states you've instantly now gone into the reality where you don't have the money even though you can't see see the money in your account if you would have just stayed affirming that you have it then it would have manifested at some point Basically, that's literally it. Like if you are struggling to manifest, you've wavered. Something that I've noticed is that I used to be like, oh no, I'm not wavering. Like I'm sticking to the same thing over and over and over again, but where is it? I'm keeping my affirmations, but where is it? And literally me just saying, where is it is wavering. That's the opposite of having it. If you if you had it, you wouldn't be looking for it. it. You would have it. You wouldn't have to search for it. You wouldn't have to check the 3D for it because you have it. If you're if you're dating someone, if you're in a relationship, not even if you're married to someone, are you checking their Instagram to see if they're watching your stories? Are you checking to see if they were online today? Like no, because if you were married to them, you'd probably be living with them, meaning you could just turn over in your bed and be like, hey, let me talk to you real quick. It's not about checking your Instagram like that. You wouldn't be doing that. And I caught myself today wavering from my from the desire that I want and I'm like Louise what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing right now and that's what triggered the video idea so I was like oh that's why I was wavering you needed to talk about this if you are wavering don't do it I know that it can be scary to trust but that's why I always suggest for people to test the law of assumption first test it real good like test it to where you're like oh yeah this is real I've tested it on all these mundane things like yellow hat I manifested a purple scarf. If you practice the law where you are manifesting small things that you do not care about over and over and over again, that now builds the faith to now when you're manifesting bigger things, bigger things, and they don't manifest instantly, you'll still be like, no, but it worked for all these other things. Like I know it's gonna work, so I have nothing to worry about. And so like when people come into the law of assumption space and are immediately trying to manifest big things, I'm like, oh, you can do it. You can do it. But the point is, is that building that faith will make life so much easier. Like wouldn't you want to manifest things with ease wouldn't you want like your life to be easy like anything that you want you can easily get there's no stress there's no anxiety there's nothing wouldn't you want that and so like building that faith that that baseline will get you to where you have faith in the unseen because that's what you really need to be doing is having faith in the unseen this is why i always say that people who people who have had a background in religion, like were a Christian or any type of religion, I feel like have like a cheat code when it comes to manifesting because you already know what it's like to have blind faith. Now just apply it to lo the law of assumption. Like even religion, like you can use religion to manifest. Honestly, that should be a whole other video topic. Am I about to film another video? 
I'm happily overwhelmed with how many video ideas I'm getting back to back to back. I'm gonna go with it. That's gonna be the next video. But anyways, all that to say, literally just stop wavering. Don't do it. Like just keep the faith. If you are in the space where you're not manifesting anything right now, I would suggest manifesting small things just to, you know, keep that faith up. Just to, you know, remind yourself, hey, I'm in control. <laughs> I run this shit. I'm immediately going to film that religion video after this, so I'm gonna be wearing the same thing again. It's fine. It does not matter what I'm looking like. It matters what the words that are coming out of my mouth. If you are new here, I don't even think I've been doing it in my other videos, but it's fine. We do an emoji. This is the emoji. And then you comment either your favorite thing you've ever manifested or your most recent thing you've manifested or just a manifestation that you wanna share. Yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a like, and check out my workbook down below, and I will see y'all in a later one. Bye!